everyone. Welcome back to Venus on the Half Shell. This is Chef Gigi, and today we're talking about pies and tarts and differences. So there's a lot of differences between pies and tarts. They're generally classified together um, in the culinary arts. You can, for both of them, you could have sweet or savory. So you could have um, a sweet filled tart. This is a filled tart. Um, you could also have a, uh, a savory pie or a savory tart. So you could make a quiche Lorraine in a tart shell as well um, with a savory dough. Um, this is a fluted tart, fluted because the edge is ridged. Um, baking baking form. Um, a tart form generally has a removable bottom so that you can remove it. And um, you would, you take your dough and you roll it and you line the tart shell and generally let it chill. You can even um, freeze it, especially in production work in hotels. Um, these days, people are probably buying them in generally, or they are buying them in. I know that um, pre-made and pre-frozen, but back in the day, we would, you know, uh, make all of our dough pounds and pounds of it and freeze it and roll it and um, take it out, roll it, and maybe refreeze or, or then refrigerate and use. Um, a pie, this is an American pie plate. Um, it, it's deeper. You can see that it's a lot deeper than the tart shell. Um, also, a tart form is generally straight edged, so kind of a 90 degree angle, more or less. This is a little bit uh, on a slant, but generally a 90 degree angle, a straight edge for a tart. And um, so a straight edge, as opposed to an American pie, which actually um, is comes out. So it's on a slant and it's a lot deeper. However, you can also have a lot of freeform pies. So these are general classifications for the culinary arts. You can have a lot of variations. You could have um, in England um, pies date back to, you know, 1066 writings. Um, so uh, Plantagenet menus way, way back um, dynasties. So the pie was probably developed um, as something to carry um, with people. Um, so some kind of a dough with a filling. Um, Welsh pasties are um, were carried by coal miners, for example, um, down into the mines. And they, they were huge, like large crescent-shaped um, pies. Um, and some were even filled with a savory half of like meat and potatoes and then and the dough would be formed in a big big round and then a sweet side over on the other side so that as the miner they worked really really long hours hard down in mines of course and so they would start with the savory side and uh, work their way through to the sweet side and when you overlap the pie they would make kind of a division, a hand division, and um, that is a pasty, but it's also a pie. So there's many variations in terminology. Um, these are loose classifications, but nevertheless, for the culinary arts, um, interesting to know for us. <laughs> um, and you can have a filled tart so this is a filled tart because the shell was made first, the pie shell, sorry, the tart shell. <laughs> the tart shell, which is for sweet tarts, is generally pat sucre, which is a high fat um, pastry sweet dough, um, a French sweet dough. And you chill that dough and then line it. You can pre-bake the tart with the filling. And then, so this was pre-baked, for example, just the shell. And then, um, and you might weigh it down with, uh, so you put parchment paper in, weigh it down with beans or rice traditionally, or um, pie weights or tart weights, which are little 
metal pieces that resemble stones um, and they and they prevent the dough from forming up and um, then you bake it and then you remove those stones you fill it with in this case um, like a custard a cold custard um, and then fruit that's a filled tart you could also have a baked tart so um, that is where you would again line the dough in the form and then um, it depends on the, you know, on the variety or the recipe, but you might put a frangipan mixture inside, which is an almond cream mixture, and um, bake it. And um, that would be your almond tart. So that's a baked tart. Um, so there's lots of different classifications. Um, a lemon tart, you um, bake the shell, and then you would have a lemon curd mixture um, that and you remove then the stones, the baking stones, pour the lemon cream in while it's bake and let it bake another 10 or 15 minutes, depending on the size of the tart shell. Um, and American pie, you know, Amer Americans as classifications with baking often like their baked goods like underdone, at least in conjunction with kind of the rest of the world's um a lot of the rest of the world's um preference for baking so what i mean by that is that we like um like our cookies our american chocolate chip cookies are often um underdone gooey um as opposed to um like italian biscotti so a lot of european baked goods cookies and tarts and pies um, people like them crustier and, and baked through. But Americans, so this is for um, an American pie, like a lemon meringue pie or an apple pie, because it's a deeper um, pie plate, um, it might, it will, re it will result in a softer, taller, higher um, pie. And so, um, but you can, again, you could, you could uh, have your, for pumpkin pie, you would like roll out your dough. Again, you can freeze it, especially for production ahead of time. And then pre-bake the pie shell, pour in your pumpkin pie mix, depending on the recipe, and continue to bake. Or many people just roll out the dough, pour in the pie filling, the pumpkin pie filling, and bake it. And generally this might take like 45 minutes to an hour, this, this, depth of a pie plate and um, but it will result in a softer um, pie so those are just some classifications um, which may or may not be of interest but they're part of the trade and so just passing them on out to the universe uh, pies versus tarts and um, hope that you enjoy whatever you're making and um, this is Chef Gigi of Venus on the Half Shell. And thank you for stopping by. Tutelur, have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you. Uh.